Introduction Watching moon is a fun thing to do. I have one question, Papa. May I ask you? Sure, my dear. Why are we able to see moon from Earth and not other planets? Good question, Rhea. Actually, moon is very close to the Earth, whereas other planets are very far in the space. Do you know moon shines because of the sun? Hmm, I didn't know that. This is so interesting. I want to know more. Children, in this lesson, we will learn about the moon. Objectives At the end of this course, you'll be able to Tell why the moon shines so brightly. Define lunar month. Discover different features on the surface of the moon. Describe the four theories of moon formation. Discuss the gravitational pull of moon and its structure. Moon is the Earth's only natural satellite. It is the second brightest object in the sky after the sun. But moon does not have any light of its own. The light you see is actually from the sun reflecting off the surface of the moon. So, if the sun wasn't there, we would not be able to see the moon. You must have noticed that the moon does not always appear as a perfect circle. Do you know why? because it goes through phases. The changing shape of the bright part of the moon that we see is called its phase. Sunlight strikes the moon at different angles throughout its journey around the earth. The part of the moon facing the sun is lit up, whereas the part facing away from the sun is in darkness. The moon takes 27.3 days to orbit the earth, but the time from one full moon to the next is 29.5 days because earth is also constantly moving and orbiting the sun. We call this period from one full moon to the next as the lunar month. Moon is an average of about 380,000 km from earth, which is pretty close and because of its proximity, we don't need telescope to see features on the moon's surface from the Earth. Did you know, we always see the same side of the moon. As the moon rotates around the Earth, it also rotates around its own axis at the same rate. This is why we always see the same side of the moon. Kids, do you think moon has also got water like our Earth? No, there's no liquid water on moon, but there is some water in the form of ice. Recently, NASA spacecraft discovered nearly about 100 kilograms of ice and water vapor near the moon's south pole. And yes, this is possible that there is more buried under the surface of the moon. Even though there is no water on the moon, it has many interesting features such as craters, mountains and lava plains. The dark patches on the moon's surface are plains which are called seas or maria. They are called maria because very early astronomers thought that these areas on the moon were great seas. The later patches are mountains and children you can use a pair of binoculars on a clear night to see the craters formed by ancient meteors' collisions. Well, lot of debate held on how the moon got into its origin. Some scientists believe that it might have formed along with the Earth from the initial cloud of gas and dust that form our solar system. Another idea is, the moon was once a part of the Earth and then broke off for some reasons. Some said moon might be floating in our solar system and get captured by the Earth's gravity. Some suggest that any object of similar mass to that of Mars might have smashed into the Earth, creating a cloud of molten rock and eventually condense into the moon.
Hey, have a look on the interior of the moon. Moon is basically a ball of igneous rocks and a small core of iron and nickel, and there is a rocky crust consisting of aluminium and calcium. You can find big moons in our solar system, but our moon is the biggest compared to the size of Earth, and it is large enough to cause tides in oceans due to its gravitational pull. You'll be surprised again to know that moon's gravitational force is only 17% of the Earth's gravity. For example, a 100-pound, 45-kg person would weigh only 17 pounds, that is 7.6 kg on the moon. Unlike Earth, the moon has no atmosphere due to which the sky always appears dark even on the bright side. Also, there can be no sound transmission on the moon since sound waves travel through air and the moon has no air. Did you know? On July 20, 1969, American Neil Armstrong became the first human to step on the moon. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Moon is the Earth's only natural satellite. Moon appears bright because it reflects the sunlight falling on its surface. The moon takes 27.3 days to orbit the Earth. There is no liquid water on moon, but there is some water in the form of ice. Moon has many interesting features such as craters, mountains and lava plains. The moon's gravitational force is only 17% of the Earth's gravity. The moon has no atmosphere due to which there can be no sound transmission on moon.